Hello and welcome to this week's See and Know Lost and Found. It's great that you're joining us for another story and song and I hope you've been having a fantastic weekend. Well, Nick and Flo are here. It's great that you're joining us, but we need to find out who else is here as well. So we're going to sing our welcome song. So we'll sing it and leave a nice big gap for you or mum or dad or grandma or grandpa or whoever you're with today to say at home. Are you ready? Are you ready, Flo? Let's sing together. Where is, where is, did you come, did you come, come to see and know. There they are, Flo, hello, and welcome to see and know. Now I wonder, Flo, and you guys at home as well, do you know your animal noises? Well, let's find out, are you ready? You love them, don't you, Flo, are you ready? Oh, what's that? It's a cow. Did you get that? That was a cow as well. Brilliant. Okay, should we try another one? Oh, I wonder. Hmm, that's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I wonder. What's that? Yes, that's right. It's a chicken. <laughs> Brilliant, you got it. Okay, shall we try one more and see if you can guess which animal this is? Are you ready, Flo? Okay, are you ready? Hmm, do you know what that one is? You think you know, Flo? I wonder if they do too. It's a sheep, that's right. Well, today's story is all about a sheep as well. So we're gonna tell our story, Lost and Found. But first of all, we need to practice our actions. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna wiggle all of our fingers to show that there's lots. And then we're gonna hold up one finger and we're gonna keep that finger held up. But we're gonna look around without looking at our finger. Can you do that? Look high, look low, look everywhere. And then we're gonna look at our finger. There it is. And then we're gonna clap and shout hooray. Okay, do you think you've got those? So lots of fingers, one finger, look around, look at the finger, clap and shout hooray. This is the story Lost and Found. There was once a shepherd who had lots of sheep. One day, one of the sheep got lost. Let's hold up one finger. The shepherd looked everywhere. Let's look high and low, but don't look at that finger. Hmm, can you see it? At last, the sheep was found. There it is. There's that finger. The shepherd was very happy. <laughs> Hooray! Okay, shall we tell it again to remind ourselves what happened? So this is the story lost and found. There was once a shepherd who had lots of sheep. So let's hold up our wiggly fingers to show lots of them. And one day, one sheep got lost. So let's get one finger. The shepherd looked everywhere. Can we look low? Can we look high? Where is that sheep gone? At last, the sheep was found. There it is. The shepherd was very happy. <laughs> we clapped and hooray! Jesus told lots of good stories. That's the end of our story today, Lost and Found. So have you ever lost something? Have you ever lost a favorite toy? Maybe your parents have lost the keys to the car. Maybe you've lost your snack when you were wandering around the house to look for something else to do. Well, when we lose something, we go and look for it, don't we? Just like the farmer looked for his sheep. And do you know what? God does that for us. He loves us so much that he comes looking for us because he wants to be our friend. And he sent his son Jesus, and we're gonna be celebrating Christmas soon. He sent his son Jesus to come to earth to be the person to start looking. And that is absolutely incredible. God wants to be friends with me and Flo and you. And he comes looking for us. And hopefully he'll find us because we'll say, yes, God, I'm here. I'd like to be your friend, please. I want to love you too. I think that's absolutely amazing. And Jesus tells some other stories about things being lost as well. Okay, now we're going to look at some suggestions for crafts this week. And we've got some sheep crafts. What a surprise! So there's some that you might make with cotton wool balls. There's some that you might want to do with painting, dabbing paint everywhere. Uh, there's one where if you have it, you might want to get some bubble wrap 
and either paint that white or to make a really nice textured sheep, or you might want to use that to print the bottom of the sheep. Or here's a fun one as well, you might want to put some white paint on a piece of paper or card and then fold it in half and squish it and then when you open it you'll have the shape of your sheep and then afterwards you can add the head and legs to it as well. And it's a reminder that God loves us so much he looks for us so that we can be his friends. And you might want to put that on your wall or on your fridge to remind not only you but maybe your brothers and sisters or your mum and dad or grandma and grandpa when they visit that God's looking for them as well. So we're going to sing our song which is My God is So Big. Are you ready? Let's sing together. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Shall we sing that through once more? Are you ready? Let's sing together. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Fabulous. Well, we are going to finish with a prayer, so we're going to need our wiggly fingers back. And we're going to wiggle our fingers up to the ceiling. We're going to wiggle our fingers down to the ground. We're going to wiggle our fingers up to the ceiling. We're going to wiggle our fingers down to the ground. We open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give a little clap. We open and shut them. Open and shut them. Put them on your lap. We put one little hand over one little eye. The other little hand over the other little eye. Bow our little heads and say a little prayer. Talk to God. Dear God, we thank you for the story of the lost shepherd, that you love us so much that just like the farmer looking for his sheep, you came looking for us so that we could be your friends. Help us to recognise how much you love us and if we want to, to say yes to being your friend. Help us have a great week to love you, to love ourselves and to love each other just a little bit more. Amen. Fantastic. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our story, Lost and Found, um, and we will have other things coming up in the week. Uh, hopefully we'll have our sing-along on Friday. We've got the One Service coming on Sunday, and of course, we've got See and Know next Tuesday. So if we don't see you before, then have a great week, but hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye!